Hey, how's it going, huh? Super, super. Do you ever wonder how come I say super, super before you even have a chance to answer the question, how are you doing? Huh? Because I don't care how you're doing, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I care how you're doing. I really do, seriously. First of all, I wanted to give a shout out to a person from Singapore, uh, his name is Kelly Toh, T-O-H, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, anyway, thank you, uh, Kelly, for, uh, for your, uh, support of the channel, I guess you call it, appreciate it, thank you for all the, you, all you people that, uh, support my channel, it's a hell of a channel to support, isn't it, huh? You know, and and I, I, I do appreciate all you people that uh, support me in my endeavors that en enables me to go see Wendy once in a while. I like to see Wendy once in a while. I don't care if she's got red hair and pigtails. I'll see her anyway. You know, beautiful. Hey, this Coke's for you, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about <clears throat> uh, Girl Scouts uh, selling Girl Scout cookies. You know, on other projects, uh, fundraising projects. Now, do you realize that Girl Scouts... Selling those little Girl Scout cookies, you know, thin mints and, you know, I don't, I don't, generally I don't buy Girl Scout cookies, <clears throat> excuse me, because I don't want to spend $4 or $5 for a box that I could buy the same box of cookies at the dollar store for a dollar. Why should I, huh? Anyway, do you know how much the Girl Scout cookies, or the Girl Scouts selling their little cookies? Eight hundred million dollars a year, almost a billion dollars a year, selling those little cookies. You know, uh, do they? Do they? Does the Girl Scouts get a billion dollars? Hell no. They get eight hundred million dollars. No. There's a chain of people that stand in line for their do re me. You know. The people that make the cookies, the people that make the boxes for the cookies, <laughs> you know, uh, just just uh, just a whole a whole uh, list of people that stand in line, middle middle people, middlemen, with their hands out before the Girl Scouts sees twenty cents. They sell a box of cookies for four or five bucks a piece. They're lucky to see 40, 20 cents per box after everybody gets their little cut, you know? There's a lot of people that get the cuts. Uh, you know, they come to my house, yeah? They and, and, and sometimes I buy from them. Usually I don't. If the little girl, you know, 10-year, 12-year-old girl comes to the door and tries to sell me a, a box of cookies that's four times too much, if she's nice, you know, she's, you know, polite and so forth, I'll probably spring out, you know, five bucks for a box of Thin Mints. And thin they are. Do you think they can make them any thinner? If, if she has a bad attitude, I'll tell her to take a hike. Go to the next door, baby. I had a tie on earlier. I have to. I have to. I have to unbutton this, uh, so I can breathe a little bit. You know, let a little little air in. You know, those hairs on my chest. <laughs> you don't believe me? <clears throat> anyway, I thought. I thought about it. They're making eight hundred million dollars a year. That's how much they're getting. You know selling cookies, but they don't get $800 million, do they? No. 
It's all the middlemen. It's the, you know, 10 to 15 middlemen that, that have their hands out putting this thing together, you know? And, and I don't I don't like it. I, I think it's a ripoff. It's a you know it's 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 a ripoff. First of all, that the Girl Scouts they get a list of their cousins and their uncles and their you know uh, grandpa and grandma and you know they have a list of people that they that they contact first. Hi, Grandpa. Would you like to you know Would you like to 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 buy a box of chocolates or Several boxes of chocolates, you know, I'm trying to raise money for camp. So they hit up all their relatives, they hit up all their neighbors, all the people in church that they know, all the friends of their neighbors, all the friends of their family. And if you don't buy from them, you feel guilty, don't you? Here's little Sally that came, that's, you know, that's my cousin and I turn how, how am I gonna turn her down I can't because I'm a sucker that's why so I fork over the four or five bucks for a dinky box of chocolates that's worth a buck maybe a buck and a quarter for what because I feel guilty if I don't that's horseshit tell her to take a hike but it doesn't stop at chocolates oh hell no the, the fundraising goes on throughout the year. You know, there's coffee mugs. There's uh, three uh, oil changes for a $100 coupon. There's a crate of grapefruit. You know, uh, 50 pounds of grapefruits. For $100 or whatever it is. How are you going to eat 50 pounds of grapefruit for crying out loud, you know? Hey, Girl Scouts, take a hike. That's what I want to do. I want to go hiking up and, you know, when we, when we sleep out, I don't care what you want to do. You're not going to do it on my dime. Hang on. I got to I gotta support Wendy for a minute. Wendy, Wendy, what went wrong? I'll tell you what, what went wrong. You got pigtails and red hair. That's what went wrong, Wendy. You don't have pigtails at your age. If you had a Girl Scout that looked like this that came to your house, what would you do? Seriously, would you buy cookies from her? Huh? I'd like to smack her in the mouth, wouldn't you? Huh? And let's see what we can do for a fundraiser. Oh, maybe we can, maybe we can sell a a uh, a pencil or a pen. Let's sell pens that we can buy wholesale for six cents. Let's sell them for three dollars. You know, a pen, a P E N. What else, what else can we do for a fundraiser, huh? Uh, let me think for a minute. Let me think. Uh, how about a box of potato chips, you know? I mean, it's sickening, you know? You, you feel guilty if you don't buy it, if you're related to the, the Girl Scout or whatever. Boy Scouts or Cub Scouts do the same thing. Would you like to buy some jamboree tickets for $25 a piece? No, I wouldn't. I'll take a hike. Get out of here. I don't want to see your face. Quick coming. I got the perfect solution to help helping the Girl Scout that comes by. Now, let, let's say she comes by and she wants to rip you off with a box of chocolates for five bucks, okay? Now, out of five bucks, if she makes a sale for five bucks, she might get, I don't know, 40 cents out of that, you know, to put towards her camping fees or whatever. Here's, here's something that I, I thought was pretty good that, that I'm going to start doing. Instead of buying a $1.25 box of chocolates for five bucks... 
give her a dollar and say, I'm not, I don't want to buy anything, but here's a dollar for you. Not, not, you know, not for the scout leader or not, not for, you know, somebody in, in the chain of people that are getting, you know, money from your sales. This is a dollar. I don't want to buy anything, but here's a dollar or here's two dollars or here's five dollars, whatever it is for you. Just to help you with your camp or whatever you're uh, personally uh, raising money for, you know, and that helps her out, you know. Why would you buy a five dollar box of chocolates that's worth a dollar so she can make 40 cents on it? Wouldn't you rather just give her a dollar and say this is for you, sweetie? Well, you can't say sweetie if she's under 18, but... But you know you can't you get you you get my drift, don't you? Now, if the Girl Scout is over eighteen, let's say let's say she's a, a Girl Scout that just hasn't quite made it, and and she's still a Girl Scout uh, or a brownie or whatever or whatever it is, she's still a Girl Scout at at eighteen. Then that's a different story, you know. You know, you can say, well, yes, I'd like to buy some cookies. Why don't we, why don't you come in and we'll talk about it? <laughs> oh, boy. What a world, what a world, what a world, what a world. Remember on The Wizard of Oz when the witch says, what a world, what a world, what a world. When she was melding, when Dorothy... Threw water on top of her. Anyway, the Girl Scout organizations, it's a good organization. I'm, I'm sure they learn skills, camping skills, uh, you know, just different skills to help them, and that's good. But to think that when you're buying a $5 box of chocolates, that the Girl Scout only gets 20 or 40 cents of that box of chocolates, proceeds, and there's middlemen to get all the rest of it. That's horseshit. I don't buy it. Now, if you have a different opinion, keep it to yourself, will you? Because my opinions are tops. I went to school for a long time, including college, to come up with the opinions and the ideas that I have, I've worked my butt off for years. I didn't knock on doors and say, Oh, hi, I'm trying to, to go through college and I need some extra money to go through college. I didn't go, I didn't do that. So after I'm, you know, almost 70 years old, what I am doing is and saying, look, look, let, let's, let's think about life, okay? I'm nearly 70. I'm in poor health, and 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 I need your money. Why why should you have a good meal? You have a nice meal today. You've had a nice a nice meal for breakfast, haven't you? Huh? What'd you have for lunch? You know, you had a great lunch, probably ten fifteen dollar lunch. You probably ate out, had a nice steak or whatever, huh? And supper? You're not going to go hungry at supper. What do, what do I have? I have a Wendy's and a Junior Cheeseburger. I can't afford a real cheeseburger. Well, I can, but but I but I don't want to pay the extra amount for a for a real cheeseburger. So I get the Junior Cheeseburger because I'm a Junior kind of a guy. That's why. My point is, and just go without one meal during the day. Go without one meal during the week and send that money that you'd spend on that meal. To feed your gut, send it to me. Send it to me so I can have a few dollars in my in my back pocket. You know, when so, so when things come up, I can pull my wallet out of my pocket and open my billfold and say, "Yeah, I've got a yeah, I've got five dollars for gas," or "Yeah, I've got an extra you know two dollars and fifty cents for a for a quart of milk." It's going to mean a lot to me, so give. Give, baby, give. Give till it hurts. The more you give, the more you're going to be blessed for. You know that. 
Do you think you're going to give to me and you're not going to be blessed for it? It doesn't work that way. It's more blessed to give than to receive. I'm doing the hard part. I'm, I'm receiving it. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing the hard part. Anyway, that's my two cents worth on the Girl Scout cookies. And, and possibly a better solution than just shilling out your hard-earned five bucks for a box of cookies. It's worth a dollar that you can probably buy any day of the, of the week, the equivalent, at the dollar store. And just give, give the Girl Scout a dollar. Give her a couple of bucks and say, this is for you. I'm not, you don't have to give me anything. I'm not buying any cookies, but this is for you, for your kitty. So you can have some money, you know, to put towards camp. You know, and she'll probably think that's neat. You know, she'll probably think that's neat and it's smart. It's smart to do that. Why? Because I'm a smart guy. That's why. If you don't believe me, just ask me. Anyway, have a great day. I, I, I do appreciate everybody that uh, supports me. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a nice day. Especially you, the people that support me. I hope you have a great day, and I hope all you other people have a good day. How's that? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs>